I know he said, a man of God is a man of righteousness. And in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. And the word take unto man and become flesh. Therefore, Emperor Selassie I, is kings of kings, lords of lords, and conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Je Rastafari, ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. Now cut it, don't worry yourself. Stinny, flex, don't worry yourself, we love. Yeah, yeah, me willpower. You've clashed on New Dimension, lost the clash, you vex, you decide, say, cho. I've got Bill Willpower now. After the Mark Kid and Smiley Link clash, yeah. Yeah. So, me, I'm on like Kochi, Willow, and Bark Kid. We just said, well, them say, we want Bill a song. So it's all right, we're going to put together this willpower, but we have a little condition with putting together the sound. And the man them looked for me and said, what kind of condition? I said, well, I need my team. Okay. I, can't, I can't just build a sound with the man them and I don't have the, the team. Then, well, they looked for me and said, well, who is your team? I said, well, Sarovko and Kojak. Without them two man, they call, Rovko is the selecting genius. Mm -hmm. And we have the engineer. Kojak, so we say, all right, Kojak and Rough Cut has to be a part of the team. Mm -hmm. So them say, all right. So we go check Rough Cut, Rona Fox Records, and say, Ruffy, may I go build a sound, you know, where you say? I'm say anything you say, boss. Anything you, anything, if you say, yeah, build a sound, yeah, build a sound. We go find Kojak. Say, Koji, we need to put together a serious machine. You know? mm -hmm. And Kojak say, well, if I that we are do, we are going to build a serious machine. So we go check Father Dal first now. And say, Father, me want to build a song. Father looked at me and said, Why? Holy Pamun, if you build a song, you know. Father never really take me serious until we dropped the first piece of money upon him and said, Father, box. <laughs> <laughs> we want some speaker box. Yeah. See it? So, Father, she said, We're serious now as some juveniles and we are going to build this little song. And then build what people of today who know Will Power song, we call it the Menelium song. Cause we was the first song really to come with the silver mesh box. Mm -hmm. the full pretty, from, yeah, from, from, silver from, box, from yeah. the yeah. bottom of the box to uh, yeah. the top of the box. Silver mesh, you can't see speaker, you can't see if it's a scoop. Yeah. You don't know what it is, all you know, you can see silver. Yeah. See? Now. So at this time, sorry, are you thinking about dub plates or are you just thinking about the machine? No, I'm thinking we're thinking about the full package now. In our mind, we're thinking we want a sound system with dub plates. So are you voicing dubs while no, you no, the machine no. or you just... No, we never knew nothing off the voice in a dub plate. Okay. You understand? We never knew um, the full extent of voicing dubs. All we heard was Saxon, um, King Addis, Coxon, Love Injection with all these dubs. Yeah. And we want to sound like them. Mm -hmm. See? So we said, all right. We're going to build a song. But we wasn't really building a song to compete with them. It was more to compete with the youth man scene. Mm -hmm. So we was thinking more like Young Stone, Young Injection, mm -hmm. Wrecking, Gemini, all the little song them okay. that we've clashed prior. I, I was more thinking on their level. Mm -hmm. But because Father Adolphus had a bigger vision too. Can me draw down the speaker then from paper, you know, so I saw the one section looking okay, like, yeah. very, very. So who built the boxes? Um, in Birmingham, them built. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the man's name off the top of my head. One of the father's builders, them, and they might go beat me for now. They might go beat me by them. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> must have <laughs> the box suit. <laughs> but yeah, um, we get the box them build at Birmingham. Yeah, we get the preamp from Lynx. Yeah, um, rest in peace to Lynx. You get me Lynx build the preamp, the effects. Um, uh, we had a man named Ray who build the amps, because mm -hmm. then you build your own personalized, personalized amps, amps yeah. see? So we had Ray build the amps. So we built a big, we, we, we built a big song without even knowing what we was building. Mm -hmm. If you understand what we are coming So from. how many boxes did We you built have? 12. 12. 12 straight. 12 box, 12 mid-range, see, amplifier, everything we built. So when the song kind of, I get itself together you now. One of a few more pieces that was needed. We start thinking about dub plate now. Mm -hmm. See? 
So at this time, this is an undercover operation. Nobody, mm, nobody, know. we're not playing no way. Uh, just, we don't do nothing. We just say we're building ourselves. Are you still? Are you completely off of the roads? Are you still? On no, the Bart Kid was still doing his radio thing. Okay. So he, Bart Kid was like doing his radio. Um, Rough Cut was still doing radio with Pali D. Mm-hmm. Um, and me, Kojak and Father, Kochi, Willow, and the rest of the youth then was building the song under the choir. Mm-hmm. Only a you few. You still doing donkey mans and them things at the same time? No. You just... Oh, Cut up. You see, from, okay. from, from my left dimension, you know, I yeah. said me done. Mm-hmm. Because I was tired of the amount of wedding, christening, Long hours there. <laughs> Blues. You understand? Yeah. Up and down the country, lifting box. Mm-hmm. You know, that my first wages was from music as a youth. Mm-hmm. You know, like enough man would say, oh, me get a paper round. Uh, me get a sat the work. Do you remember how much you got paid? Yes, man. Me get, yo, one time me played Middlesbrough. See, me an entertainer. Father was playing Liverpool and we played Middlesbrough. So we was playing two places yeah. in the one night. And we ordered Middlesbrough for the weekend. So that was the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday, and the Monday. Mm-hmm. Not, not just the Friday and Saturday. All the way through, because it's a blues. And them time that I had to stay in a little hotel. Not even a hotel, it's the man who hire away our house. Mm-hmm. And we just get a room. And we're living in this room for the, for the next four days. Mm-hmm. See, we don't know. Nobody in Middlesbrough, you know? Yeah. And we play there. So after that night, you know, the weekend come and Monday come and we reach back. After Tuesday morning come now. Father looked for me and gave me 80 pounds. No, 80 pounds. Them time there, eh? as a youth. Big money. <laughs> what? Rich. Rich, 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 rich. Rich juvenile, you know okay. what I mean? Can go buy a train and look bossy, you know? Mm-hmm. You know them kind of way there? So, what they do it. But by the time that, by, by the time I said me done with Dimension, we've already passed all those stages. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, I was kind of tired of the whole heap of, I did like the clash scene mm-hmm. with the youth then more than I did even like playing for the big people then because the, yeah. the big people then I couldn't really play the whole for ninja man shabba no, you can't express yourself yeah. you really want to express yeah. yourself them time they have to I have to play big man music yeah. you know what I mean time they can't, can't go on you have to you know, <laughs> have a distinction business have to go yeah. on you get me yeah so we was just controlling so anyway we're done with that and we start with willpower and we're building willpower under the secret. Mm-hmm. We got clash with young stone over. And when I said we're just a clash zone, you know, mm-hmm. we were juggling the same way, party the same way, but it was all about looking at the end goal for say, yeah, man, we are got clash. The youth them will win. Mm-hmm. I remember them win win. So more about revenge. More about revenge. Yeah. See? It's the same like with Valerie, man. V Rocket, big up Valerie. Cause she kill off dimension, you know, when we run there, you know, with Asha World Movement. So, oh, okay. so you... we did play at a place called Pali Pali, London Road. Okay. Same. You have Asha World Movements, V Rocket. Yeah, Chris Goldfinger, the funny. Okay. Same. And you have, you have V Rocket, same, no dimension. Mm-hmm. Three sounds string up in the land. See? So New Dimension was a big lead sound in that was, sense. To me, New Dimension was the number one song at that time at for Sheffield. Time, yeah. Them run, the, them have the dubs. Jetstar, Just a Bill. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Dimension have the dub play them. Them have the song. Mm-hmm. Them have the club. You know what I mean? They was like the song. The, the song. So we end up playing the top song at Sheffield. Me rough cut them. See, but then boom, when we left Dimension Car, we get little ignorant and say, you know, we get all I know and we want to do what we want. Yeah, do. which naturally. Right, so we say we'll build this song. We decide, say, we'll bring back Rough Cut and we'll bring back Koja. Mm-hmm. And we start build this song. Then we start thinking about the dub plate. Now we are talk to, when I talk about Levi, we'll give it the name. We'll mm-hmm. teach me about 12 tribes of Judah and teach me mm-hmm. about some Rastafarian thing when we left school, right? Boom. His brother is Patrick Roberts in Jamaica. Wow. See, Mama Sita is his mother. Wow. So the you know is his Patrick brother. Roberts, he's pa- a politician, right? And well, he's a politician now, but at that time he was the head of Shocking Vibes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Record head of shocking vibes. Yes. Yeah, so. And then now you have Jamie Roberts. Yeah. Jamie Roberts. Yeah, that's like Little Lenny and them and they, Hey, big girl, let me watch you. Yeah. And you know them and them under his label. So he might run a label them time. Mm-hmm. Patrick Roberts. So when. 
when Levi here said we are build this sound system, Levi looked on me and said, I'm going to carry you to Jamaica. Wow. Right? So Una can get on a song then. So the first trip to Jamaica was me, Koja, I mean me, Kochigad, Willow, and DJ Dex. Mm -hmm. See? Bark Kid did that the big house. Mm -hmm. That's why Bark Kid never come. Okay. You understand? So boom. When we reached Jamaica now, we reached Patrick Roberts' house in Heavendale, Jamaica. Yeah, nice little ends. Yeah. Proper ends. Yeah. But guess who lived there, sir? Yeah. Same time. Beanie Man and Little Kirk. Okay. This time Beanie Man around the place. Because mm -hmm. 1996 we reached now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's July the 17th is when we went to Jamaica. See? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it says in my book. That's when I land. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we land in Jamaica, July, see, the 17th, and ended up staying there so for six weeks, living in Beanie Man's, well, Patrick Roberts' house, which had Beanie Man in there, so, and had Little Kirk in there. So. so that was like winning the lottery. Literally. We've left, you know, one hilly place around our one part, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And we reach a Jamaica and we sit down with Beanie Man. So have you caught some dubs by this time? Nothing. You're not caught Not yet. one dub. All right then. So we, this is the first <laughs> dub trip to Jamaica. You <laughs> okay. get me? So we've gone to Jamaica to cut our dubs personally. No sending for two and all that. We never had no link to send. Did you know what you wanted? Well, we wanted what was hot yeah. at the time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So when we've gone over the Beanie Man hat, 96 Beanie Man hat, mm -hmm. you see? So when we've reached to Jamaica and we sit down with Beanie Man can't believe it. it's like we win the lottery ticket and we, we, we buy some Beanie Man around a jar of studio well that's jumping the story we look on Beanie Man we have built a relationship with Beanie you now yeah. and we attack our Beanie Man are you them time years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you get me Beanie Man is only a few years older than I you get me mm -hmm. so it's like you man them just sit down and attack about what we want do. and we look on Beanie and say Beanie Moses, I would have loved you for cut my dub plate them in a car. We're not on a link. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So would you do that for us, please? Yeah. Moses Davis looked upon me and told us, said, no. I'm so skinny. That's not really my work, you know. Me an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm a run down next artist. Yeah. It's a song, now. Yeah. Me an artist. And you see me? Them time, yeah, well. being a man of yeah. big. See, remember, so the war don't kick off with him and bun to kill and everything. So, them are run the place. Sting, man. Yeah, because yeah. 93, them, them start boss yeah. and war, and by 96, of them run down. Mm -hmm. So, with Capleton and Monster Shot and Scare them crew and all of the crew, them. The see? Yeah, yeah, lock the place. So, when Beanie Man look for me and say, We know, we feel hurted, man. We feel like, Yo, you know, Beanie not going to get us his dubs. He says, No worry, man. I have someone who can do that for you, you know. And gone. The man come back with Ricky Trooper and Buggy Nose. Wow. Now imagine, me listen to Trooper on cassette religiously. So now you're meeting another icon. Legend. Yeah. <laughs> Legend. Top of his game. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're talking about the jar who would just kill off King Addis in, in, in Portmore. Mm -hmm. Kill off everybody. He was on a like world tour killing everybody. Was this after? Oh, this is after the Portmore club. After the Portmore. This is when he's at Pinnacle. This is yeah. like. To Kochi, because Kochi is a real Jara fan. Mm -hmm. Me had this fan. Mm -hmm. He's my Jara fan. So when Trooper walked through the door, it's like God walked through the door. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Trooper had them time. Yeah, like yeah. God walked Trooper's a baddest thing, yeah. Yeah, man. So God walked in with his mm -hmm. friend Boggy Nose, big up Boggy, because Boggy are general. Boggy, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, boom. When we sit down with Trooper, now Trooper says, so what? And we explain to him what we is a youth man song and we want a certain song. Mm -hmm. So he said, yeah, man, we can do that for you, man. Come to the studio. So we start going around a White Hart Avenue, mm -hmm. seeing, and, and go, go around a dub factory, which is Jaro Studio. So when we were, when we were there, so now we voice a whole heap of songs. So that was where the first set of willpower songs come from. So what's the actual first song that you voice on the room? The first song we voice going to the studio, because Trooper did voice some song without us even being there. Okay. Now he, he voiced. The first song in voice for we, without us even being there, was the Bushman. Grow your nut. He said, He said, have a rhythm. He said, I have a rhythm, me a work on, and me I go give you the rhythm. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, 
hear this song and play me the Bushman on the old bro. Now about a week into the while we're in Jamaica now, Beanie Man catch our vibes and say, yo, let's go to the studio. Mm-hmm. So the first tunes we actually voice in person. In yeah. person at the studio was the, the Beanie Man them on the old bro. Okay. You understand? Which eventually became Antem. Antem. All of them, all of them. <laughs> all the Bushman okay. and Antem. And the reason why them tune their anthem, you know, is because every dance, we only have a little amount of dub. So every dance we play, that had the start. And you, and you, 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 yeah. Every dance. And you left them for, okay. So every dance we play, you are going to hear the Bushman. So tell me what it was like, cutting tunes with Beanie for the first time. It was like, to be honest, you know, it was like a dream, innit? So did you, at the time, as a sound man, Tell him what you wanted, or did you just go with what? No, you we did? have the idea, we have a list. So you have your idea, you have yeah, the we list. have a list. If that tell me, and you have your rhythm, then we want your sound, then yeah. Okay. Well, cause them time when we all go, we say we want fed up, we want you know, cause yeah. them rhythm, they're the hot rhythm mm-hmm. in dance song mm-hmm. at the time. So when Trooper come to me with the old bro, it was like a different aspect of songs for what we wasn't even thinking on that level of thinking of old bro, mm-hmm. cause nobody to play old. Bro. Did you like the rhythm at the time? Yeah, when we hear it, we say, yo, what we do this and it sound like a jar or thing. And yeah, you know, yeah. We are fans. Like, yeah, you're fans. Day, we're fans. <laughs> Anything that, yeah. So it sounds it sound like something was too powerful. Yeah. Play, you see me? So anyway, we get the, we get them tuned them. Then we end up cut some fed up and judgment reading, answer reading, entertainment reading. We end up cut mm-hmm. the basic reading them, you know? But Old Room was like a special reading because no sound in the world was played all room. Not even Ricky Chupa himself. So you're the first man to bring it back to England? Me are the first man to play it in the world, busy. Okay. No song in the world was played so all room. So, so, so Trooper gave you the really amount of time where he's working on the... He's still, still building his job. Building his job. Because yeah. Trooper wouldn't like me, you know. When me first get all room, we only have three songs on the rhythm. Mm-hmm. Trooper would not play a rhythm like that. Trooper want to finish him rhythm. In one like a eight piece yeah, minimum, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. minimum before that touch road mm-hmm. in so building you, you thing. Beat him to it, yeah. yeah, so when we come back at England, um, Bantan X Men promotions, because Bantan, like me tell you earlier, Bantan know the skills. Mm. See, he's, he's been working with you from from we are juveniles, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he know where we're there. Mm-hmm. So he look for me and say, all right, yeah, be a sound youth. As soon as you build the song, we have a dance for you. So as we come back to England now, he said, you're, you're ready. So you come back around August, September? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have the first dance, November the 8th. Wow. See, date and center. Mm-hmm. Check the, the dance where we I've seen the flyer, yeah. The, date and center is the number one venue at the time in the north. Okay. For big dance, Bujo, Beanie, Berry Salmon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Big shows keep at Date and Centre. Now, mm-hmm. our first dance is Date and Centre. See? When, when, when Bantan see the box, them, you know, because we did do a test press. Carry the sound of yes, man. When we, do, <laughs> when, we, when we do the test press, we're on either way, you know. Because mm-hmm. we say, yo, we have to test the song to make sure the song right, you know. So we do a little test press in either way. And this time, Bantan, I promise we are dance, but he's not really certified the dance yet. Mm-hmm. See? So this is like what? Beginning beginning of September we are test the song. When we are test the song now, Bantan come in and see the silver box. Only four box we carry down there. Two you know how we are small place. Yeah, yeah. So we carry the two box two box over there, so two box over there, so mid range. And then them time then we are make coach and then play the song. And we and we just have flight away. He says me see Bantan pull up in him car. I said, all right, run around the sound now. Come <laughs> we have to make sure we put on a yeah, good yeah, performance. Best, yeah. yeah, we have to get him, we have to show him now. We have to show him we're worthy. Yeah. You understand? So when he's coming and look on the sound, and we take up the mic and say, yo, thanks to everybody who's come out. And, mm-hmm. you know, this is the new sound on the block. This is the new sound, Willpower. And we just come back from Jamaica, which I believe you should all know. So we are going to feature some of the song then we just cut. I said, we play the Bushman. Will power tradition. <laughs> Bantan just shake him head, man. You know, Bantan go and just shake him head and say, Yo, yeah, man, you ready? Okay. I've got a dance for you. Okay. He must have already known him. Okay. But he never tell you. He said, Yeah, man, we have a dance for you. Date and center, 8th of November. Line up your thing. 
I say, yeah, man, no problem. Who we are play Bantan? Who, who's on the dance? Now we're expecting some like little dance. No, it's David Radigan. Jesus. Yeah, that's that. So you're excited now. What? <laughs> I willpower first ever dance. Remember, said I was only thinking to play Young Stone Love, mm -hmm. Young Injection. I wasn't thinking about the top league. You get me? Mm -hmm. So when Bantan now uh, put me in the dance with Radigan, I say Radigan, then I say Willpower, and then I say two little DJ name. I say, oh, oh, my name looks so big. Pan the fly, I call a Radigan, you know. Yeah. And then you say Willpower. I say, hey. The smart business move, yeah. yeah. So two tools now. We go out the dance and we are warm up the sound and sound a clap. And mm -hmm. I said, yo, sound dangerous. So we are clap up the place and we play with a little early segment. And then when we look on the the rotor for the night, you know, because Bantan a professional and make sure you know when you are playing and what. Play, yeah. He said, yo, one o'clock, Radigan. Radigan, I got play till half past one. After Radigan is who? Willpower. <laughs> After Willpower is who? Radigan. No more DJ. Just we and Radi. I, I finished this dance here. So I said, oh, God. First dance. First yeah. dance. I remember I said, we're not used to them big, big dance here now. Because the data center at capacity at them time, they can all look over a thousand people easy. So at this time, you've been off the road since New Dimension. Yeah. So how do you feel about going into this Big, dance. big, big dance. Uh, nervous. You've been off the road. No, nervous. So were you practicing? No, yeah, we practice religiously. Okay. Them time they religiously. <laughs> we all have our younger team already. We already, we already young. Pepper and Dex was already in the song, okay. practicing we, before we even go to Jamaica. We are practice. Mm -hmm. We have record shop because we buy a record shop. Them time mm -hmm. there as well. So we had the own record shop. Them time because we know it was essential to have records and the link. Yeah. yeah so we just record shop. Park Hill place, unique records. Okay. See? That was our shop. Me, Rough Cut, J Rugged. Okay. See? We Another run the record. legend in yeah. Sheffield. Yeah. We run the record shop. Because J Rugged. Yeah, man. <clears throat> we run the record shop. And then, boom. When we are by the record, we have, we have all the record there, so we are practicing and I set up the team. The first dance now when we reach a Radigan, like I say, we do the early warm. And then right if you come in after uh, Mr. Wumble and all the DJ Mr. Them, Wumble from, from Manchester. Manchester yeah. X-Men is a promotional team where they have a man from Huddersfield, a man from Manchester. Yeah. You know, and they unite to keep the big show of them. Mm -hmm. So when when we look out, you know, busy, I gotta tell you the gods are this true, you know, I'm afraid like <laughs> person. <laughs> Yo, we stand up on the stage now. Can we set up the song on the stage? Yeah. We never set up on the floor. So now you can see everything. You know, and need to now. Ram. When we say from front, yeah, like squeeze up like blues. So we look this time the whole of the room boy they're up on the stage, innit? Yeah. The whole was on the stage. And when we just pull the little curtain, cause we have, we have some curtain where you could hide, you know? Yeah. So when we pull the curtain and say, when we playing at the earlys, you know, there's only a few people in there, you know? Yeah. By the time the dance ram and ride it, when we look out, we just see peer people, we just get free. When we say free, that is not even a normal. So who sound was Radigan playing on? Will Paul, man. Oh, he was playing on your song? Yeah, one sound in Adelan. Jesus. One sound in Adelan. Okay. No more sound in Adelan. Okay. Anyway, two twos. When we look out, we just get free. We say, oh God, man. Them tiny man are 80, no. Man just turned 20, no. Mm -hmm. It take me a little time to build this song. Mm -hmm. So man 20, look out. See, I see a people that frighten me, frighten me, frighten me, frighten me like puss. Bantan give me a big speech, say, yes, we got a new sound. No sound on the block from Sheffield. Just come back from the yard. You got the elders in this dance or something. Everybody I look for you. Remember, Sir Redigan just flattened the place. <laughs> When I said, yeah, yo, Ram Chan Radio. You know, the man, the man play some, you know, pure dub plate in play. See, yeah. remember, we've only come back to Jamaica. We got seven dub plates, fam. You got seven dubs. We came back with seven dub plates. See, and half of that was beanie man. If you know me, <laughs> <laughs> half of the seven plates had us beanie man. Yeah. So we have a little, little shocking vibes crew, one and two little singer, but beanie man was the focus of. 
True a Beanie Man yard with there, innit? Yeah, yeah. So, so Beanie Man get the focus of the money and focus of the songs. Mm-hmm. Two tools now with up on the stage, me look out, me get frightened. One time come with the big, come in, come in. When I've rolled in, I start frightened, me nervous, voice I tremble. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice I tremble, you know. I'm just I get myself together and think. And then we play the first tune, which was the Bushman. Mm-hmm. And you see when the Bushman come in and say, Will power tradition, grow your nutty. Pull, pull, pull. Me just hear some gunshot boss. Wow. So I say, wait, me get gun salute. Already? I read it for me first time. <laughs> me, say, me just get confident now. Me feel like, yeah. me a Ricky yeah. Chuba, me a baby yeah. face, yeah. me a squingy. Uh-huh. Me, I'm everybody in one now. Me just get bossy because me get some gun forward. Two tools, me play the next tune now. Beanie man, um, now get me wrong to me say man a dog. Are you stretching this on that? No, cause you see when we, we tell, me said this story already before. You see when we pull up, we have to pull back to the intro, you know? Yeah, so. No, we, we, we make it stretch. Yeah, yeah so that 30 yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we have 30 minutes, but we have, we just stretch out. Yeah. And, and them time they will never quick mix. Yeah. So we, you would hear the tune go down there the first thing, mm-hmm. you know? So when we have played it, um, the Beanie Man. We make the Beanie Man get to all the second verse, third mm-hmm. verse in you know, mm-hmm. the song. You get me when they all start talking about Chupa give me the mix and, and all that I get forward because people I feel like Chupa? What Chupa have to do with this little yeah, song? Yeah. So yeah, even so that I get forward because people was more listening to what so was you playing. had that fresh from yard appeal. Yeah, well, you know Landry. Mm-hmm. Landry looked for me after the dance years later and said when he first heard Will Power in Dayton Center that night, he thought it was from Jamaica. Wow. He didn't even realize that uh, I some little youths, you, you know what I mean, from round. So he, he thought it was from yard. So anyway, we play the, 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 the Beanie Man. The Beanie Man, now get me wrong, throw me say man a dog, mm. mash up the place. Must he pull up about three times. You think I want pull up? No, about three times. So this is about a good 10 minutes. Uh, two songs. <laughs> <laughs> Too sad. <laughs> See, by the time I play the next Beanie Man on the rhythm, how would you feel if you wake up one more and you just say, Pie, pie! You say, What this? Pressure wing wing again. Pull up. <laughs> See, by the time I'm going in a second verse, get a next forward. Pull up. Third verse, get another forward. Pull up. Pull up. And people just have give it forward. When I say it was energy in that dance. No, I just start feel bossy in myself. Is this your first time in Huddersfield? Yes, man. All right, so, 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 so. Yeah, first time in Othersfield, in Dayton Center. Everybody, I give a pure forward and I show with pure love. Mm-hmm. When we say forward from, we mean some football forward. Mm-hmm. You know, when you just see a crowd pick up. Say, so oh, God. Adrenaline's pumping. Pumping, Rasta. I'm going to tell you something. You see, by the time me all play the snagger post, call them tell the snagger post a lot. Of, yeah. Damn. You got girls like these. Yeah, yeah. Eh? Two bands and all them talking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See? Anyway, we, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll snag a post, get gunshot. Wow. Yeah, man. When him say, if I one way, I one way, we I left from both days. You know, say, pow, pow. So that time, the gun, gunshot salute was the, big, was the biggest form of salute. You yeah, because that time, the money pull up now run. No money pull up now run. You will get standard forward, you know. And mm-hmm. when we say standard forward, we not talk about three, man, I go, but, but, but. Four corner. I talk about four corner. Yeah. But you see, we have a gunshot over the four corner. Yeah. You're mad, you know. Because that means that a man say, yo, it's not just a forward, you know. Yeah. How did that used to affect the, the, the ambience in the dance? Did Energy. The people used to get more gassed when they had gunshot they, Them no said the dance nice. Them no, all right. So some people never used to No, fret no, fretting. Uh, nobody that had run. The, the only man did fretting at the dance was Radigan. Radigan. <laughs> Radigan run over to me and said, he said, yo, mind the ricochet, the ricochet. <laughs> this time he didn't mind, mind me. I said, ricochet, yo, blood. I'm mad, dude. Me, why you have what? Yeah. Come, you know, young. So I just said, yo. Anyway, Radigan get frightened and I run up and I run up. And I talk about ricochet. Every time gunshot him, I talk about ricochet. See? But this time me, just I get more confident in myself. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, I'm the man, you know? Yeah. Uh, me, I mash up this dancer. Mm-hmm. Two tools now, you know you have little rivalry and people was wondering why is this willpower song from Sheffield playing in Dayton Center on such a big dance mm-hmm. when they had their own residence songs 
that used to play this dance. Yeah. See, we got my friend Technics World Beat. Mm -hmm. See, because Technics World Beat was like one of the songs that was saying, oh, where, them, where this song come from? How oh, them I get the date? So me get bossy, innit? Mm -hmm. So in the dance, me look on him and say, say, boy, oh, some song when I ask question about where willpower come from and who is willpower? Yeah. You want to know who is willpower and play the Frisco kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. This willpower boy, you're dead any day. What me say? Yeah. <laughs> See, so techniques feel bright now. Kind of say, wait, them call up with him. Was he on the bill? No, sir. Okay. He was just in the crowd. Mm -hmm. See? And we, we mash up the dance the differently. And then Bantan now, through me, call up the man name and get big forward in mm -hmm. the dance. Bantan say, me have another dance for you, you know. You know more you play? I say, oh, techniques. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we end up playing techniques on a Palm Cove in Bradford. So, yeah. Big, yeah. Historical venue. Yeah. Mad thing again, dog. Lock him off around this. So is this your first win as willpower? Um, them time it was different. I would see. I would even say the Radigan was a win. So these dances were built as juggling. Juggling, dances. but it was but but the competitive spirit. Who came out the, the yes, best? Yes, it's yeah. all mash up the dance then. So what was Radigan's energy towards uh, willpower? Well, him acknowledge me. Okay. Him give me the credit. Mm -hmm. Him work with me. That's why I'm me rate David. For the purpose of and so he didn't antagonize because he could have just dropped two tennis and just flat yeah no no him. him just said yo him just the way the way me rate Radigan is this after we play Radigan the first time mm -hmm. Radigan and Willpower was one of the biggest dance for keeping at the now mm -hmm. so we play my leads play my you know we play him all over the place mm -hmm. year to year to year it wasn't a thing where him not you know like some song won't play with him yeah you know, when I play with them you play them too bad mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Radigan never put that onto us. We played him, we go one for one with him. Years. Him, and him all give me credit. You know, like him would say, Will Power's a bad song, you know, him talk. Mm -hmm. Long time. So take me to the first big dance. Boy, I visit the wall of them big, you know, can't think about it. All right. Then. When Radigan, when we play Radigan, we have over a thousand people. Then we play Palm Cove. Palm Cove is a smaller venue, but it, it ram. Yeah. Can't hold no more. See? That was with techniques, world beat, and, and a few other songs. And we kind of roughed them up in the dance. Mm -hmm. But then the next big dance after that was we, and I believe it was Metro Media, Dayton Center again. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be Travelers, which was a bad song. Bad song. Them time. Yeah, them. Yeah. We're talking 97, mm -hmm. Travelers. See? It? So 97, Will Power, Metro Media. Travelers never turn up. So it's we are Metro Media, a player. But them time there, Sky Juice is a serious entertainer, you know that, you know. Yeah, them man, they were the splits, sure, and, the yeah, splits man. and. Yeah, man, rubbing belly and. You can't do no wrong. Hear, hear some story. <laughs> when yeah. him I play him song, him give you a story with it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, him, him play about a hour. And me said the man flattened the place for about a hour straight. And him come and say, boy, me need to cool off, me go take a break. I I own again now. I don't even know we're near. We said, Willpower. He said, Willpower? All right. Me I'll give Willpower like a 10 minutes while I got breeze off. See it? Because I'm hot and yeah. so people don't worry. Me Willpower. You see, when Willpower come in, daddy, I yeah, talk about 10 minutes. You've been cutting through them? No, the no, we've been, to, we've been back to Jamaica already. Been back to Jamaica already? Yes. Okay. No, because we, we, we get the fever for Jamaica. Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes I was only in England for six weeks. Yeah? Okay. And I'm back in Jamaica. And you're back in Jamaica. Are you still linking with Beanie Man? And linking Chibana? with Beanie Man until Beanie Man look for me and tell me, say, skinny, you can't just come to Jamaica and I cut Beanie Man. You, know? mm -hmm. you have to go find some other artists. I, I Beanie Man push with a goal. How much Beanie Man don't play skinny, sir? You say over the years, how much thumbs have you got? Beanie man, over 100 beanie man, over 100 easy. Wow, easy, <laughs> easy, easy. I oh, wow. remember them time we were cut girl tune as well. I've only for regular, 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 regular song, song, anything. Song, me, me sit down and watch beanie man write Romy. See, mm -hmm. before Romy even released, me sit down in my house and him did there talk about Romy. And I said, Yo, I'm one of the song they say, not finish yet. So I have to come back to England and go back out and yeah, then we get it. By the time I go back, 
it's a number one. So when did you put, <laughs> to, take me to when you put pepper on the front line. It was very fast. Must have been around like boom. It was a hectic. The first years of Wilco was very hectic. Like more or less every weekend they went out in Coventry, Leicester, London, Birmingham, um, Huddersfield. So would you say the Huddersfield dance, boss, willpower, and then now we travel? Yeah, yeah, straight away. Mm-hmm. But true, we had Father Dolphus, innit? Remember Father Dolphus, I played the song from, from me, Barn, right, you know, 76 yeah, yeah. and them so time. He's then. Out there. So him have the links. Mm-hmm. And true, we put Father as the like, road manager mm-hmm. to control what willpower was doing. It was never a problem for dates. Yeah. So we play with Kiber Negos. We play with Oli Paso, I can't remember them. How much are you getting paid these times? Thousand pound a show, man. Wow. And yeah. you're carrying the sound with you? Sound. Okay. You understand? Thousand pound. And if we are travel far, we get more than that. Mm-hmm. You get me? Minimum minimum pay was a thousand pound. Mm-hmm. So we just say, yo, come here. Thousand, thousand. So that's why we're there, Jamaica. Regular. Mm-hmm. Because by the time four week pass, you know, four thousand that's enough. And if we had the double dates, could so I you're see making 000? enough money from just bookings. Yes, man. Yes. To, to even buy some. Yes, it was different. For how much is a W stand? Expensive. It was expensive. Like you could be paying, you could be paying like Cable Town was hot. Beanie man didn't usually charge with the full money car. Yeah, true. true through the link. link yeah. You see me? But like Cable Town, Monster Shop. Um, Bonticilla, like Bonticilla, the tune there, can't believe my eyes. Mm. That's when the thousand dollars started for your song. Yeah. From that song, everybody wanted that that dub plate. Mm-hmm. So him start up in price. A thousand, thousand. A lot of money. Capleton was six hundred a song on them thing. So if you were to quantify how much you spent on dubs, how much would you? If you were to just a, a wild figure, so maybe over the years, if you were to I can't say. You have to value the sound. How much would you value that? Can't value. I can't say how much. Is it to be honest, the- can't say. I can't say because I remember we used to keep our own big dance as well because we kept our own Radigan shows. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes we could leave a Radigan show and have all that 10 quid. You know, when I say 10 quid, I mean like all that 10 grand because mm-hmm. you have the bar and the door. Mm-hmm. And we just got to yard with that. So, so yeah. Never mind what bookings we was getting. You know, we just got to Jamaica. So how did you brand the sound at the time? Did you brand the sound? It was an entertain, ent- entertainment. Or? It was entertainment, guaranteed. Wherever the station string up, so you juggling. Didn't have that, you didn't have that label as Wilpore as a, 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 a No, n- nobody really wanted to clash with. Okay. You know what I mean? It was more competitive juggling. Mm-hmm. So we played Jaro with Ricky Chopper mm-hmm. in Dayton Centre again. Mm-hmm. Ram, same thing with Metro. Ram. We play with um, Black Cat. Black Cat was a clash head, you know. Mm-hmm. So we had a clash with Black Cat and Turbophonic in Data Center. Mm-hmm. Lucky man. 1998. Who's on the sound this time? Who's? Me. Who I get yeah, yeah. me, me. At that time, I was the main MC. So when did you put down? When Pepper come the... end of 98. Like so Pepper's in 98. 98. Did you put him on the front line? Yeah, immediately? straight into the big, the big lead. He was ready. Mm-hmm. It was really long time, but because people got to know me, it was like they used to put me as the, the main MC there. Mm-hmm. So like more time if we had to do a dance and we had make pepper control, I would kind of open the dance to make people know I'm mm-hmm. there and then just pass it to pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and pepper's the hot. Hot, ready. You know, pepper slaughter, we used to call him. Them time the Billy slaughter, mash up the place. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Pepper and Dex was tight. You know, when we say type, I mean like mixing speech. Mm. So, who was the first song to get a competition? Mighty Crow and, and, and Love Injection, and then the it's real official. 2000. Two. Yeah, when we got the real official Big League Clash. Okay, so t- take us there. Yeah. <laughs> we're at the Big League Clash now. All right, well, after we play a jar and all them, and we all we won, Carl, Valerie, no. Right. But Stick up in right there, so. <laughs> <laughs> right.